everybody this is Jane from Willow Blue Vintage and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this tag. So the tag itself is covered with um, some script ephemera and one of the printables. Um, it has layers of ephemera, a nice little print there, a bit of lace. I won't be showing you much about actually making the tag. What I'm going to focus on is how to make this woven style um, embroidered heart. So you're going to be doing some stitching on pieces of silk with some interfacing behind it that stiffens it and allows you to stitch onto it and then attaching that to the tag to make this really nice little sort of textile um, addition. Okay, let's get started. So the materials that you'll need, first of all, I'll very quickly go through the stuff for making the tag. Um, you'll need some card to stiffen the tag. I use these printables from the, um, well, if you look on the printable section and just look for tags, hundreds of them come up and I chose these from the wallpaper gift tags and I actually used the green one for the back of the tag. And I used some script ephemera for the front. So your card and your prints from the Graphics Fairy Premium site. And then for the little bundle, I used a piece of a handwritten letter um, that I'd already got, um, just something that sort of size. Again, you could use another piece of script ephemera for that. And I printed one of the images from the cottage wallpaper bundle. Um, so I used that image and then I printed it on top of the ephemera. So printed the ephemera sheet first, then put it back into the printer and printed the flowers on top um, so that it looks like that. Um, so that was that piece. So those are your prints. You'll want a very small piece of paper to make a heart shaped template and some scissors to cut it out. Um, if you want to use distressing, um, you know, distressing for around the edges. I use some paper raffia for the tag um, tie, but you could use string, um, silk, whatever you prefer. Um, so that's the actual tag. And then for making the embroidered heart, you need a small piece of interfacing. This is iron-on interfacing. It's the sort of thing that's used for stiffening collars and facings um, by dressmakers. And it's got one side that's like got a sort of adhesive um, on it. So a small piece of that. And then just some scraps of fabric. These are bits of old um, sari silk, various different shades. You only need a tiny amount because the actual piece is going to be that size. So a few scraps of that. I put a piece of um, lace under there as well. So something lacy maybe if you want to add that. And then some thread and a needle. Um, this is called perle thread, but anything that's a reasonable sort of thickness. Um, if you had it too thin, you'd have to do so many different sort of layers of stitching. So, you know, this sort of thickness thread is ideal. Um, you'll want a pen for drawing your template onto the fabric. I use this red fine liner. And a glue stick for sticking the whole lot onto your tag at the end. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I did was make the actual tag. So I used a piece of the script ephemera and one of these um, tags from the wallpaper gift tags um, on the printables and um, made the tag, distressed the edges and then I used a piece of raffia um, as the string. And then I used a piece of the um, printed script ephemera that I put the flowers onto, um, a little bit of an old letter and a piece of lace fabric. Staple those together, distress the edges a little bit. Um, and that forms the basis of the tag that the embroidered piece is going to go onto. So I'll show you how to do the embroidered piece now. So you're going to take your piece of um, interfacing and feel which side is the gluey side. Um, I don't know if you can see that, there's some dots there that show that that's the side with the adhesive. 
and I'm just putting some fabric down um, to protect my work surface as I iron. So I'm laying the piece of interfacing down and then I'm getting my scraps of silk and I'm just layering those on top of the gluey side of the interfacing until it's completely covered. So I'm making them sort of quite random shapes and a few bits overlapping. And then once it's covered, just use your iron and press down so that the glue on the interfacing melts and it will stick all of your little bits of silk to the interfacing. So it joins them together and it also stiffens them so that you can stitch on it easily. Okay, so that's all ready for us to start stitching on. So you're going to need a heart template um, that you're going to draw around to mark the stitching lines. Um, so to create the heart, I folded a piece of paper in half and then just cut out a heart shape. And the reason I did it this way was that I wanted it to be symmetrical. So cut it that way and then keeping it folded in half I folded the top down like that and then when you open it up gosh if I can open it up so fiddly you've got a cross shape on the heart and I drew that cross shape on and you're going to need those markings at the side when you start stitching so with your heart template find a bit of the fabric that you want to stitch on um, I want it to have a few different sort of fabrics behind it so I'm going to go over here where I've got a few of the fabrics joining and then just carefully draw around the edge of your template I'm using a red pen because my cotton is pink so the red lines are not going to show too much um, where there's sort of gaps in the stitching whereas if I use black it would be very obvious. Okay so I've drawn around the template and I'm just going to mark on the edge where that cross, that um, black along the middle comes through. Okay so there's my heart and the two marks. Right, so for the stitching, I've cut a really long length of thread. Mine's about 50 inches long and I've tied a knot into the end. So the starting point is we're going to put the needle from the back to come out at the bottom of the heart. and then we're going to go in at that mark that we made where the fold was. And then I'm going to put the needle from the back and I'm going to come out just next to that um, bottom point. So I've stuck my needle through because then it shows me where I need to come. and I'm going up to that point on the opposite side. Okay, so that's our first two lines done. And now we're going to alternate coming up from underneath, going um, from the side of the heart up above and alternating that way. So the next one needs to come from this side So I've stuck my needle through again to see where it is, in from the back and I'm going to come up above the first point. So it's lying flat next to the first stitch and then the next one is going to come on this side. So 
So all the time I'm alternating which side I'm starting from. So I'm going from left up to right. And then right up to left. And then left to right again. And you keep on doing that. So what you'll be seeing is that you're getting this woven effect here. Under, over, under, over. So right to left again. and left to right. So I'm going to continue with this until I get a little bit further up and then come back and show you. Okay, so I've got up to the top. So I'm now going to start bringing my stitches round the, um, the curves of the heart. So the last one I did was um, right to left, so I'm coming left to right again. So keep working to that shape. Okay, so now I've got to the point where if I go any further, I'm going to be sort of crossing the, um, the indent. So I'm just going to come in from the back. I want to come through that point um, at the top of the heart. So I've marked it with a pinhole from the back. It's a bit fiddly. And I'm just going to put one stitch over the top there, just to sort of lock those threads in place. And there we have it, our woven heart. So now that that's finished, just to um, tie the thread off, I'm just going to wrap it around a few of those threads on the side and whoops, through again just to sort of knot it in place. I'll do that a couple of times so it doesn't come unraveled. There we go. And then just snip that off. So then I just want to trim this down to a size that's going to work um, on the tag. So just lifting some of these because they will peel off quite easy from the um, interfacing. So I'm going to cut fairly close to the stitched heart but I'm only cutting the interfacing I'm peeling the bits of um, silk forward so that I can cut off some of the excess interfacing so what I'll be left with is the stitched bit and pieces of silk and the interfacing will only be under the part that's actually stitched. Oops. Okay. And then I can trim these bits down a little bit, but I want them to look sort of fairly random, so I'm going to tear them so I get some nice um, frayed edges. That one won't tear. Okay. So I've torn those bits off. 
nice and random, just sort of fray them up a little bit. And then I'm going to attach those onto the tag like that. Okay, so to attach the tag, uh, this sorry, the stitch bit to the tag, I'm going to um, sew the tag just onto this piece of backing paper. I don't want it to be obvious, so I'm just coming in along the edge of the heart and just doing a little stitch through there from the back up through the front so that that's attached. And then I'm going to take the needle through the papers. So it's hiding the staple where I joined the papers earlier and it's just attaching the heart to them. So I'm just going through a couple of times. So I've done a couple on that side, I'll do a couple on this side as well. There we go. Okay, and then I'll just finish it off at the back. Again, just sort of wrapping the thread through itself. And if you want to, you can stick a little bit of sellotape over that bit at the back. And then the final thing is just to glue that in place. So I'll get my glue stick. And I want it to be at a bit of an angle. So I'm just going to put some glue over the top part. I want the bottom bit to be able to sort of flap freely. And there we go, press it in place. So there we have it, our woven heart tag. I hope you enjoyed watching that and I hope you enjoy making one. Thank you.